Morning everybody, it's Tuesday today, a lovely day yesterday. We spent the afternoon on the beach in Troon with Brodie, Sophie, John, Hazel and Bill. And uh, we had a lovely time doing that. Uh, that was Brodie's first visit to the beach and uh, he certainly enjoyed the sand and uh, first of all went into the sea with his wellies on but very quickly ended up in paddling in the sea with his bare feet. So I think we can say that yesterday was a real success uh, and uh, Brodie certainly enjoyed being on the beach. Uh, living in Birmingham is not easy to get to the beach and that was his first venture there so that was great. Um, today uh, weather looks really good again for the rest of the week. I think it's to be quite warm today and tomorrow certainly. So I hope everybody is making the most of that time and getting out and about even if it's just into the garden. So we've got a few things on today. Um, got a session clerks meeting this afternoon. Uh, so I'm um, looking forward to that and to hearing how people are getting on and just one or two other things that we've got to catch up on today. So I hope everybody's doing all right uh, and keeping well. So yesterday we heard um, Daniel praise for his people, Daniel chapter 9. And today we're going to hear Gabriel explains the prophecy starting at verse 20. So it's Daniel chapter 9 verse 20. I went on praying, confessing my sins and the sins of my people Israel and pleading with the Lord my God to restore his holy temple. While I was praying, Gabriel, whom I had seen in the earlier vision, came flying down to where I was. It was the time for the evening sacrifice to be offered. He explained, Daniel, I have come here to help you understand the prophecy. When you began to plead with God, he answered you. He loves you, and so I have come to tell you the answer. Now pay attention while I explain the vision. Seventy times seventy years is the length of time God has set for freeing your people and your holy city from sin and evil. Sin will be forgiven and eternal justice established, so that the vision and the prophecy will come true and the holy temple will be rededicated. Note this and understand it. From the time the command is given to rebuild Jerusalem until God's chosen leader comes, seven times seventy years will pass. Jerusalem will be rebuilt with streets and strong defences and will stand for seven times 62 years, but this will be a time of troubles. And at the end of that time, God's chosen leader will be killed unjustly. The city and the temple will be destroyed by the invading army of a powerful ruler. The end will come like a flood, bringing the war and destruction which God has prepared. That ruler will have a firm agreement with many people for seven years and when half this time has passed, he will put an end to sacrifices and offerings. The awful horror will be placed on the highest point of the temple and will remain there until the one who put it there meets the end which God has prepared for him. Amen. And God bless the reading from Daniel chapter 9 and I think we will hear some more from Daniel the rest of this week, certainly. Um, so maybe kind of uh, jump on a wee bit, have a wee look and see uh, what other verses there are in Daniel that we can listen to. So I hope everybody's doing all right. Still no word from the Church of Scotland. Um, I check every day and still, I'm just about to check just now, nope, still no latest update. So just we're just carrying on as we are. Uh, so... Apart from that, have a good day today, enjoy the sunshine and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.